Tie up at the draw. Brooks will settle it down back into their own zone as that's Ethan Bear. He's going to skate it out of the defensive zone and chop it in for the Bandit's first look of ozone time here. Fitzpatrick now down low to Wallace quickly. He's going to hold on to a wraparound attempt on the doorstep was Mason. Big save by Roost. He's going to find Sawyer once again. He's going to gain the blue line untouched. Now right side Peluso on the near side boards. Now found by Hooker. Hooker right back for the main commit. Now found by Sawyer. Sawyer lets one on net and he scores. In front, Hicks with another big rebound out there, but Brooks defense doing a good job at sweeping any loose garbage out of there. Now puck on out front for Karen, scores! Cam Karen, the Northeastern commit, gets his first as a Crusader, and he ties this game up at one apiece. First official Junior A goal, and it comes in the Alberta final. You couldn't ask for more for your first one. As Doc able to win that cleanly back for Jingle. He shoots it on net, and it's in! Connor Jingle from a sharp angle, and the rookie gets the first lead of the game for the Crusaders. From a sharp angle there, he just puts one on net. As the old saying goes, you never know till you try. Jing Caluso just over the blue line. He's going to evade a check from Price, but still caught the puck up at the exact same time as Price. Pull his way through, now picked up by Ringer. He's got a step. Ryder Ringer goes to the backhand, scores! Yuck, Ryder Ringer pops the bottle for the shorty, and it's three to one. Ryder Ringer, the Winnipeg boy. He's picking up his third of the BCHL playoffs. From a call now in front once again. This band is offense is firing off all cylinders right now. Sawyer back out in front. It scores. <laughs> Gathers it near the blue line. He gets picked off and the Crusaders come back the other way. It's a three on one. It's Aremba. He's with Maxwell. Tap out in front. Oh my gosh. Johnny Hicks with the save of his life across the crease able to rob Maxwell. That would have been a huge momentum shifter there for the Crusaders. Maxwell once again. Opportunity scores. Zach Maxwell pops the bottle. After getting robbed by Johnny Hicks on the two on one, he says, no way, not today. I'm scoring whether you like it or not. He makes it 4-2. Patrick Price able to get a stick in that passing lane. Free comes away with it though. He finds Buttazzoni. But his only top of the point, now it's DeGraves. DeGraves doesn't like it, gives it right back for free. Now down low, Fitzpatrick shot out in front, rebound, what a save by Roost, and it goes in. Now right side, Wallace, tees one up, leaves it for Sawyer, blocker save, five seconds remaining here, sent on net, whistled wide, and that'll do it. Crusaders with a nail-biting 4-3 victory over the Brooks Bandits, and this series is now 2-1. to one.